So this is jormyeon. It's like a spicy gelatinous cold noodle dish and it's pretty good. It's one of my favorite dishes and I'm eager to show it to you guys. Boiling water, we need to add our noodles and our veggie package. And with that, this is day 18 of the ramen review. So let's cook this dish up. This ramen has thicker noodles and it is a cold noodle dish so it is crucial that you cook the noodles all the way through because you can't rely on the noodles cooking once drained since you are rinsing it in cold water. So what I'm gonna eat with this, it's meat. I don't know if eating this with meat is the traditional way of doing it but I like eating spicy noodles with meat. The perfect combination. So I got a ton of leftover meat. Oops. Rip. Still frozen. It's just thinly sliced meat. With that, I just fried up some leftover frozen meat and some oil and seasoned it with salt and pepper. Also, see my frying pan tossing skills? Once that is done, I brought my pot with the drained noodles and put in the rest of the ingredients in. Since this is the spicier version, I added the extra seasoning pack included which I'm assuming is straight up capsaicin. I then added the spicy marinade and mixed up the noodles. Once done, I drizzled some crushed sesame seeds and it was good to go. This may not look the most appetizing dinner but trust me, this is legit one of my favorite dishes. Meat and spicy noodles. I know this is the spicy version of the regular version, but man, really, really spicy. Anyways, I would recommend this dish to anyone who likes spicy ramen or beef. Try them together and I guarantee this is your next favorite dish that you'll be cooking up daily. With that, if I were to rank this ramen on a scale of BTS members, if Jimin is great and Jungkook is bad, then this ramen ranks as J-Hope.